Let us quickly understand, the 12 Agile Principles, Principle 1 states, that our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early, and continuous delivery of software. This implies, that our focus should always be the customer. We should keep them satisfied, by giving them something concrete and valuable. To align with this principle, focus on delivering project milestones at smaller intervals. The second principle says, that welcome changing requirements, even late in development. Agile processes harness change, for customers' competitive advantage. As per this principle, even if a change is requested, at a later stage in project, implement it. Remember, Agile methodology works to create a well-understood, highly visible way of handling changes. This helps, keep the project adaptive, and flexible by constantly collaborating with the customers. The third principle talks about, delivering working software frequently from a couple of weeks, to couple of months, with preference to shorter timescale. This principle talks about, providing immediate value, to the customers. Delivering at short time intervals keeps the customer engaged, and more involved. This makes it easy for you to collaborate with them, and get continuous feedback, on what is right, what has changed in terms of business priorities. These help as valuable planning inputs. Remember, one of the important things Agile focuses on, is shortening the distance between planning, and delivery. This principle helps us, do exactly that. Principle 4 states, that business people and developer must work daily, throughout the project. Working closely with the business, helps the development team, get insights to business that, they will not get with just a simple requirement gathering exercise. This can help them, suggest better solutions, and alternatives to any business requests that may come. The fifth principle says, build projects around motivated individuals. Give them environment, and support they need and trust them to get the job done. Ensure, you bring together the best, and most suited team for a project. Monitor and step in as needed. But do not micromanage. Rather trust in their ability, and give them an environment where they feel motivated enough, to do, what they are best at doing. The sixth Agile principle states, that the most efficient and effective method of conveying information to, and with a development team is face-to-face -face conversation. Not only do conversations help, get faster answers, and feedback. They also help you get quickly, to the source of the problem. Do it as often as possible. Principle 7 states, that working software is the primary measure, of progress. Stay focused, on what is important. The primary metric for an agile project is, working product. If the product does not work properly, very well maintained documentation is of no value. The eighth principle talks about, how agile processes promote sustainable development. Sponsors, developers, and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. If you're working on a project for an extended period, there's going to be burnout. Agile methodologies seek work-life balance among the team members. This leads to an alert, creative and motivated team that works in close collaboration, to successfully deliver the project in phases. Principle 9 says, that continuous attention to technical excellence, and good design enhances agility. The development team, must keep the design clean, efficient and open to change. Technical excellence and good design allow the product, and development to understand, and update the design easily as and when needed, maintaining the agility of the project. Tenth principle states, that simplicity, the art of maximizing the work not done, is essential. As we discussed earlier, in majority of the projects, roughly around 20% of the features, and functionalities get used. Focus on this 20%. Do not focus on features, that will hardly be used. The Agile methodology focuses on getting the plain, vanilla version up, and running first. This not only mitigates risks, but also helps boost project sponsors' confidence. Principle 11 simply states, that the best architectures, requirements, and designs emerge from, self-organizing teams. When you have a strong team, you want to give the team the autonomy to act independently. A self-managing team that has autonomy, and responsibility, to achieve the goals of a project delivers a project with confidence, and commitment. Last but not the least, the twelfth principle states, that at regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective, then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly. Inspecting and adapting, is a crucial focus point in Agile. The team should use frequent retrospectives, at the end of each sprint, to reflect on how things are working in the project, 
and to identify any opportunities for improvement.